everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Queen's Wish, The Conqueror! Last episode was kind of a runaround as we spoke to various people and did a whole bunch of things. Now, well, uh, let's go start taking care of a mission we have. Also, what is this? Haven's Way, aptly inside. Hmm? Outside Fort Mist, a warmly lit house has its door propped wide open. The sign besides the door says, Ariel Welcome Center. Outside it, in the middle of a flower garden, an easel has been set up with a large blank canvas. No, is in a, no one is in sight, but little puffs of smoke sm f float out of the chimney. Blech. Investigate the house. The house, surprisingly, contains a cafe. Little tables and chairs, a well-stocked liquor shelf with a selection of Haven spirits. Several soldiers are here. Every wall is covered in paintings, wild forests, still lives, and the people of the Ariel. All are signed with a sloppy PG something something. A young Havenite with messy long hair and a tan vest lounges by the window. He has a pipe in one hand, charcoal in the other, absorbed in his sketching. Interrupt the artist. You get close before he reacts. He stops sketching and looks up, irritated. One second and I can... Oh, you're not Ariel. You're the prince. He doesn't rise or bow or kneel. I'm Paul, painter and Haven's Way agent for the Ariel. What's up, your royalness? Are these all your paintings? His face turns proudly to the walls. Yes, this part of Sacramentum has been a real inspiration. I send them to my dealer in Haven. She finds buyers, or tries to. Would you paint something for me? No, I don't take commissions. That's why I work an actual job. This way I get to paint for myself what I want and only when I want feel like it. And do you get buyers? He scowls. No, but all great artists are never appreciated in their time. Mark my words, Rupert. My work will become valuable one day. Probably after I'm dead. You're a Haven's Way agent. Yes, Rupert. It's my job. I work for the Haven's Way Society. They advance Haven interests in our colonies, mostly getting locals to work with or for us. Not the worst job I've ever had. It pays my bills and lets me travel the world. In return, I recruit Ariel soldiers for Haven. How's the recruiting going? He indicates a half-empty room. Decent. We get lots of locals late at night, mostly trench folk who are tempted to sample Haven brews and liquors. He points to the bar. I never get blessed, which is probably for the best. Eh, at least I have plenty of time for my art. Why is never getting blessed for the best? I don't know. Maybe because they're completely crazy? Don't get me wrong, I'd totally try that elixir of theirs if I could. I think it'd improve my painting. Or kill me, one of the two. Alas, an outsider like me getting elixir is impossible. They really guard it. What are you smoking? A oh, local herb mix that the non-blessed use to relax. They say it's supposed to help your creativity. When you ask if it's helped him be creative, he frowns. No, mostly just thirsty. It does relax one, though. Want to try it? Uh, no, spending your afternoon smoking is not how Haven became great. Eh, you're not missing much. Need anything else, Prince? No, that is all. Paul gives you a lazy wave. Your soldiers rise as you walk out. Indeed. Anyway, over here, Ankaro's mine. Let us go in. And there's someone here. These are the basically abandoned Ankaro mines. The main road to them has been overgrown, but you managed to find a narrow pathway through the forest to get here. What you find is an abandoned ruin. Why abandoned? Maybe there's a clue in the bones and huge spider webs everywhere. There is an Ariel hunter hiding here, armed, armored, and all alone. She is understandably nervous. There are spiders all over the place, and some of them are really big. When you get close, she whirls around and points her glowing spear at you. Then she realizes that you're human. She lowers her spear and says, Phew! I'm Joe Maril, and I'm so glad to see you. You're a hero, right? Yes, I am a hero. Great! I need a proper hero. The Ankaro mines are overrun with spiders. Then, yeah, time for some heroism. Terrific! If you can squish them, I'm sure there's lots of treasure and quicksilver to be found. I don't need it, I just want to survive. What is this place? This is Ankaro's mine. It's an old mine, loaded with cinnabar. Lots of fortunes have been made here. The deeper they dug, the more they found. Then the spiders came. Where did the spiders come from? They walked out of the woods, I guess. Deep in our forests, sometimes creatures change. Usually these monsters stay far from humans. 
Sometimes they hunt us. Why are you here? Watcher Aceveth of Miss City sent me. Said nobody had been out to these mines in a while. Wanted me to investigate. Then... <sighs> the Watcher told me if it was monsters to just kill them all. I don't think he was paying attention. The spiders are really big, though, so I haven't been sure what to do. So I stayed to figure this out. She waves her arm at the mine. Can I help? I hope you do. If you can get rid of the spiders, I can find a way for you to be paid. We know you Havenites like Quicksilver. Shares a lot of dedication. A lot of the Ariel are... unmotivated. Their lives are good, then they just enjoy them. Not me! The Ariel need heroes, too. I want to be one of those. It's just that there were so many spiders. Sort of a one-hero-proof number. Jo Marill still holds her spear at the ready. She spins slowly around, watching for spiders sneaking up on her. When tiny ones get close, she spits them with a glowing weapon. They die with a shrieking, hissing noise. What is mined here? Cinnabar! Rare most places, common in the Ariel Woods. The source of quicksilver, which is valued everywhere. And what is a quicksilver used for? Potions, the finest products of the Ariel Woods. Second in value only to our culture, which is the envy of the known world. Potions can heal and give great strength, and it is used to make elixir, which gives our leaders wisdom. Wisdom, really? Well, it makes him think they're wise. I'm not sure how wise they actually are, not after Aceveth sent me out here like this. I won't complain, though. Not so safe to question the watchers. I'm looking for something unusual. Really? Well, hordes of giant spiders are unusual. Anything else? The side of an Ariel rebellion, blessed, fighting against Haven. Oh, I've heard of that. The Uprising of Staves, we call it. Some of our blessed were too affected by the elixir. Thought they would make Haven leave, and Haven reacted. The uprising was put down by your lot, with the help of a lot of Vol and Ukatish. I think the Ariel leaders were actually destroyed in these mines. Where did this final battle happen? The lowest level, I think. Not sure. I haven't been that far down. Spiders. Of course. Also, I just happen to have a thought. Um, for those of you who happen to forget get or didn't see the last episode it did just happen we were given this strange eye this crystal eye that we're supposed to use to find the secret masters of sacramentum and we'll be able to use it to detect things i just thought of two locations where that might have a purpose one of them i think was in one of these areas it might have been the cinnabar woods if I remember right, but there was a strange magical, but there was a strange tree that was whispering, but we couldn't do anything with it. The other was some sort of statue. I think it was over at Castle Andesite, that or the Neomance, one of the two locations. It seemed strange. I have a feeling those areas are what we need to do with this. Anyway, oh, hello, cursed web spinner. And you managed to get right up in front of us. That's not pleasant. I think we're going to kill... Oh, great, you summoned. Well, now you're dead. And there we go. Okay. So we do happen to have this around here. Unex not unexpectedly. We also have a building over here that I think maybe we should investigate. If there's stairs down, I'm going to not go in. As I expected. Leaping Fiddleback. It's interesting. Confusion. Great. More Leaping Fiddlebacks. And Stunned. That's not very pleasant. And Confusion there, too. On the plus side, these spiders aren't too terrible, truth be told, at the moment. One more attack. There we go. Alright, anything in here? Quicksilver. Yep, the stairs down. Not gonna go in there yet. Okay, we've got more boxes here. Piles of wood. Could be useful. Stone blocks! Definitely needed.
Cursed Web Spinner. Don't care for that very much. Looks like the other one's not attacking us. Not coming close. Oh, that's other stairs down. It looks like the stairs down are going to be the only way we can get through. Oh, hello! You came out of nowhere. I don't really care for that. Thank you for moving closer. Alright, one more to kill. There we go. Okay. So it looks like we can't actually get in here. At least not yet. Alright, let's take the stairs down on this end. See where this goes. You enter the Cinnabar Mines. This is where the Ariel dig out the ore that contains their precious Quicksilver. Nobody has worked down here in a while. It is cold and still, except for the skittering of huge arachnids in the darkness. As you descend, you feel the walls closing in on you. Another cursed web spinner. Oh, we got closer. Nice evasion. I see another one coming in from behind. Of course, another summon. Why would that not happen? Okay, you two attack that. I'll have our melee guys come in closer to deal with this thing. At least we're able to constantly cause bleeding. That's actually helpful. Okay, another arrow, more bleeding. One more hit might kill it. Okay, next time it bleeds, we'll kill it. You know what, I'm actually going to save you, heal Rupert. Let the bleeding finish it off. There you go. Now kill this thing. Thank you. Hello! Another leaping fiddleback. Ow! Ow! Not keen on that! That one's dealt with at least. Oh, they're coming around! Okay, fire arrows at that one, weaken it more. Melee guys will focus on this one. Our ranged guys will focus on that one. The bleeding will probably kill it. Oh, there's another. Yep, the bleeding killed that one. Can this one just die already? There we go. That was a bit annoying. That one, there's probably stairs up over there. Yep, those are the stairs up. And those are stairs down. Interesting. So this place does go deep. Alright, this is going to be interesting. We're going to go deep into these mines. Saving. Oh, hold on. First, a uh, heal. Okay. Alright. Deeper into the mines we go. More cursed web spinners. Three of them. I didn't want you to go that far away. Oh, uh, this is gonna be rough. Oh, this is going to be very rough.
And our melee guys are all webbed. That's not good. You know what? Haven's Might actually doesn't seem like a bad idea. We have a lot of guys around here. We did a stupid. We need to get that one dead. At least that'll stop some of the summoning. Okay, here comes an here comes that one coming around. That one's probably actually going to die from the bleeding. Here goes that one. Here goes that one. You know what? Healing wave. It didn't get Patricia. Yay, that one worked. His web spinner will die. The bleeding may kill it. Nope, nope, can't. I know there was another one. There we go. Oh, that was actually quite painful. Got through that. Oh, hello. You were coming out of nowhere. Ow. Very much don't want that. How about you brutal blow him? Thank you. Ooh, I got a cleave out of that. I like that. Almost got this guy, though. Excellent. I think that's all the ones over here. And here we have quicksilver iron bar, silver coins. Not too bad. And we're going down further. All right, down we go even more. When you start to end, when you enter this level of the mine, your hair starts to stand on end. Your skin itches. It is painfully cold. You hear hissing and whispers. Malevolent magic leaking from the soil into the mines. Explains a lot about how this place was lost. Oh boy, this is going to be rough. First we have spiders and now we have deadly magic spiders. And I think I know, yep, Spider Abomination, we found where they're originating. They're coming from over there. Well, looks like we don't have any choice, we have to attack over here. This gigantic hideous spider is like the ones above just even more twisted, more charged with the raw, chaotic energy of the Ariel Woods. It can't get any food down here. It is only kept alive by magic. It still gets hungry, though. Mindlessly ravenous, in fact. Yep, this is gonna be rough. Confused yourself! Well, okay, that's something. Poison it! Of course, it summoned one right behind. Alright, get that web spinner dead. You should be able to easily. You are going to bludgeon it senseless. And you are going to shield shatter it. This thing doesn't seem that rough. Famous last words. Yeah, more bleed and evaded. Oh! Oh! He has minions! That explains it. That really explains it. 
How about a stunning shot? Of course he resisted the stun. Okay, you were stunned. But we are doing damage on the thing. Uh... You know what? Go ahead. Brutal blow again. It does do extra damage, which is... Oh, jeez! And a critical! Very nice. It's getting a lot of bleeding on it. This thing's gonna die, and we have another one coming in. Oh, it just keeps summoning more. That's a shade! I'm sorry, restoring shade? Please kill it. The spider abomination collapses. Its legs fold up under it, and it lands on the stone with a satisfying splat. Now that it is gone, the magic cursing these mines will fade. The runes around here are sure to be safer. You might be able to take advantage of the quicksilver here. I'll have to find someone who can run the mine, though. Which is something I think we can do. There goes that shade. Now we just need to kill these two spiders, and I think that's probably it. Almost. One more hit. Can't reach target. Yes, you can! Perfect. Mission accomplished. Now let's take a look in here. We've got two crystal formations, a lightning orb, and armor of the woods. Tier 2 armor, 7 physical, 4 magical. Uh, no, I think it's sellable. Interesting, but no thanks. There's another level. This other level is probably where we're going to find what exactly we need. This is the lowest level of the mine. It has not been worked for many years. Even before the spiders came, it was sealed off. It is bitter cold. I'm gonna go ahead. You see scorch marks and long dried brownish bloodstains on the floor. There was a battle here long ago. A battle took place here. Someone was trapped here. They tried to fight off their attackers, only to be burned out by a rain of fireballs. Scorch marks are everywhere, but only a few chips of bone remain. Yet the battle was not the end for the defenders. You can easily sense a haunting. Your breath is freezing up now, and the stone is icy under your feet. After the victors left, something of those they killed remained. This box is full of old mining junk, rusty and coated with frost. Everything of value was looted long ago. Among the trash, you find a cracked flask. It was used to hold elixir, the stuff that drove the Blessed to Rebellion. You put it in your pack. Lady Brock might be interested. The Blessed Dead. Oh yeah, this doesn't look bad at all. That one definitely seems to be a mage, definitely something I want to kill. You are going to charge in on that one. That one is also a mage, I think. Healing Radiance? Okay. Doesn't sound very good, and I kind of want you dead now. Poison them all. And you are going to whirlwind attack. Damage to everything. On the plus side, they're not hasted. Right, whirlwind attack. Very nice. It's a lot of damage that I don't really care for. Fire... actually, better idea. Step a little closer. Shock wave. One of them got stunned. So that's something. The other mage is... dead. Good. Now I just need to deal with these two.
which I think we can do relatively easily. There we go, one more. Mission accomplished. What have we got? We got crystal formation diamonds and static jade. Plus five to magical armor, wow. Ten to curse resistance and ten to curse duration. I think that's something that you are going to want. Oh yes, definitely. This is worth it. Let's get out of here. Also, I just realized you're all almost dead. There we go. May as well be alive. Is there a reason not to be? Alright, let's head up and out of this mine. Got a whole bunch of things to report in on. Head over to here. And over to this one. And let's report in. Ooh, that opened up. That's interesting. Uh, Joe Marill. I have destroyed the spiders. I am so glad. I'll hunt down the rest of the pests, and then I can return to my city. That leaves the precious cinnabar in the foundry to process it. It could use workers. I would claim the cinnabar for Haven, though. Well, I'm sure there are Ariel who would gladly come and work the place in return for a share of the quicksilver. Until someone from the city tries to claim it, these mines can produce well for you. A fair bounty, I think, for your help. Anyway, Acefeth will probably forget these mines exist. Probably. So we've got something over here. Curious. And you know what? Even though that's an extra thing, I think I'm going to end this episode here. A little bit shorter, but I think it's fine. I don't know how much we'd be fighting in here, and I don't want another ridiculously long episode. we got plenty of stuff we can do if this ends up short. So that'll be in the next episode. Till then, I'm Chessick44, that is Rupert, Elspeth, Terrence, and Patricia. This has been a Let's Play of Queen's Wish the Conqueror, and I shall see you all next time.